Good afternoon, everyone. Woohoo! Hi, Tia. Okay, I gotta tell you, after last night, going live in this group, Ignite Your Joyful Heart, with our nine day event, the Sacred Soul Soiree. I am so excited with all the tech issues I had last night and yesterday, actually. I'm so excited that everything is working and I'm just in this great big ocean of gratitude saying thank you, thank you, thank you. And breathing that gratitude in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Tammy Lee with our weekly show, Make Shift Happen. I love that name. I'm so glad. I wondered for years what to name this. And I think <clears throat> that was part of the reason I never, never kept consistent with it. I would start something and it just never felt right and never felt right and never felt right. And now, now getting out of get getting out of the thought of what everybody else says it should be what other business coaches say oh but you should be like this and you should be like this and it's like no i had to break those chains i had to break out of that mold and i had to go for me for me and how i how i work of going inside and if it brings you joy because that's what I had to do it's like what makes me laugh what makes me so joyful and so euphoric and living in euphoria that whether or not people like the name whether or not whatever it is or the title or the subject matter it's about the energy the frequency the transmission of this most highest pure energy that is my intention to bring through with every single show make shift happen to serve and support each and every one of you whether you're live with us or whether or not you listen to the replay because these are going to be around for years to come. And this is part of this is part of the legacy. And and that's one of the things I teach. It's not just about the legacy we leave, ladies. It's a legacy that we are living in right now. What are we doing right now to live our legacy? to live that of what we truly desire. And that leads into the topic of today, how triggers, the triggers we have in life and how they actually can be a healing force. Hello again, I'm Tammy Lee with, with the Emerald Compass. The Emerald Compass. I'm an intuitive, multidimensional facilitator of transformation and healing, sacred healing experiences. I'm an energy tracker. I'm a grandma of 13. A mama of five. I work with Mama Earth. Wow, she loves us so much. Mm, she loves us so much. And part of what I bring forth is part of what her messages are. Because she wants us to clear the way, clear our pathways within us, clear the way to be more in sync with her, to be more Because she, Mama Earth, our essence, our spirit, know, know more than what we know, right? Know more of what we can be, 
what we can do, achieve, accomplish, be, do, have, and create right now and going forward. But we got to do the healing work, women. Because there is no way, there is no way that the, the stuff that I grew up with and that is in my ancestry, there is no way that that is going down into my children or my grandchildren. I will do everything that I can possibly do. And that's why I've been a searcher of truth my entire life. This month, this is my birth month. May, I turned 58, May 21st, and, and I will, my last breath that I take before I leave, whenever that is, I will know that I've done everything, everything, everything to clear the pathway for lineages to come. Whether or not they're in my blood, but the lineages of my clients, the women that work with me, we clear those pathways. We heal what requires to be healing. And we go deep and deep and deep, and we go wide and wide and wide. So much so, and I'm so committed to this, to taking it up another level, that I'm creating an eight-month program called the Emperor Compass, the Sisterhood. There is so much that wants to come through to guide us, support us, to be of service to us. And that's a lot of what we're going to be doing in the Emerald Compass Sisterhood. So triggers, how can they be a healing force? Whoever would have thought that, right? How many times? Gosh, I love you. So let's just sit, let's set this container right now. Right now, right here with all of you that are coming on. Hey, Tia. Hi, Carol. If you would go ahead and type in the text chat. I want to know where you guys are from. Where are you from? Type it in and let's get to know. I'm I'm in Kansas. I live on a farm. You might end up here in the peacocks. <laughs> they like to chime in. Or maybe the chickens. And there's a bird right outside the window. Can you hear them? They actually feel so safe here that they're making a nest right above our front window. And I'm allowing that. I can I can clean up the residue later. The fact that the bird family, that they feel so safe, so supported right here, that they're making a nest by our front window and we can see, uh, we can see the, the miraculous happenings. Yeah. They did that last year too for the first time. Okay, so let's see who's all coming. Oh. Hi, Jade. Jade's from New Mexico. She calls herself the peaceful warrior. Mm. Carol's from Minnesota. And I know Tia is from the West Coast, I think. San Francisco area, maybe? Let me know if that's right, Tia. So everybody take a deep breath and breathe into your heart. Do the most you can of being in that heart space to allow the energy, this high frequency energy, to help it transmute. Anything that comes up throughout this time we're together. And please feel free to type in the text chat. And you know what? Even if you don't agree with me, that's okay. Type it in there. I love to have discussions. 
I, I love to, like, I love to expand my awareness, my knowing into other realms. So for me, triggers are emotions that have been buried. And, and sometimes we never, we don't know this sometimes because they've happened from either other lifetimes that we brought emotion from it into this lifetime or they're from our ancestors that have never been able to assimilate or facilitate their own emotional being, their own emotional um, hindrances because they were not allowed to talk about them. Triggers equal emotional response equals healing equals freedom. Once we start to see the triggers as, as an emotional body, an emotional freedom technique, I don't know why I said that. And I'm not ta talking about tapping. An emotional freedom awareness. I'm, I'm going to use that EFA. Emotional freedom awareness. Hmm. I like that EFA. Carol, make a note of that, please. <laughs> okay. Because when we get triggered, usually, how do people know they're get triggered? How do you know when you get triggered? How do you know when you get triggered? I'd like to know. Or do you know what a trigger is? Do you, do you know? Maybe that's where we should start this conversation. Do you know what a trigger is? To me, a trigger is when out of the blue, somebody might say something or do something that freaking pisses me off or makes me growl or makes me like, like something bubbles up inside of me that like, what the flip? Yeah, I'm trying to watch my language here because this is live. And I want children to be able to watch this. Even though I know teenagers wouldn't care. <laughs> to me, that's a trigger. When an emotion comes out of nowhere and can take us out. How easy it is to forget that triggers in those moments actually are a gift. I remember last year I was doing a lot, a lot, a lot of deep work and never, ever understood the rage that I had inside of me. Emotional freedom awareness, Carol. Thank you. Okay, so I was in the kitchen. And he, okay, so who usually triggers us? If you're a mama, our children. If you're married or have a significant other, they're usually our prime source, right? Who triggers you? Come on, ladies, who triggers you? Do you understand? Let me know for sure if you understand what a trigger is. Or what, what is it for you and, and how I'm explaining it, does it make sense to you that a trigger is an emotional response that we are unaware of that comes up like that out of nowhere sometimes, out of nowhere sometimes. So, okay. So oh, last year I was doing a lot of work on myself. And let me share this. If you ever have a coach and a mentor and they're not doing their own work, run. I wish somebody would have told me that a long time ago. If they're not doing their own inner healing work. Oh, government triggers Jade. Okay. I would look into the why. Like what is behind that? Is it because like, oh, I feel control. I feel controlled by. So then I dig deeper. 
if Jade, if I hope you don't mind me using this. So if government triggered me, I would first think, okay, I'm getting triggered by the government. Why? And I go deeper and deeper and deeper. First thing that comes is being controlled by, being told what to do by. So who in my life was, and so the next question I would ask, who in my life, as I was growing up, who in my life felt like they were government for me? Probably my parents. Was one st stronger than the other in their trying to control, trying to like no um, tell me what I can and can't do? I don't know, Jade, if that if that is making sense for you. But for me, when government, that's the first thing is being control, being lied to, like being lied to, like hell yeah, who lied to me? Maybe that was an old boyfriend. I don't know. I just thought of somebody. Not not me, but somebody I work with that she really gets triggered about lies and because an old boyfriend lied to her. And so, whew. and that's one thing um, I digress a little bit. That's one of the things how I raised my children. Like lies are not acceptable. Tell your truth. Speak your truth. And if you do, and this is how I raise my children, by the by the grace of unknown beings that helped me to raise my children, because I didn't have a role model. My parents divorced when I was 13. I didn't have a chance. I don't know who to ask. I became a mom at 17. And it's like, how do I raise children? And there was a, some kind of inner knowing within me. And I had some kind of a mystical, magical support that would give me downloads. I know that now, but I didn't know that then. That was helping to guide me. Helping to guide me as a mama. And one of the things I did was I allowed them to speak their truth. And to this day, all five of them have they have all five have turned out to be remarkable humans now to be able to say that with all five children is pretty incredible and we all have a close close relationship with each other one-on-one -on -one, and we we do our best to speak our truth and if we're not and and somebody's getting growly. It's like, you got to speak your truth. I'm telling my kids that all the time. You got to speak your truth. Which helps with these triggers, man. It helps with these triggers. So what else creates a trigger? When we say yes, when we really deep down mean no. Okay, I'll go back to when I was in the kitchen. A year ago, something happened, and I don't even—I don't even know what my husband said, but he said something that I was furious, and it was a—it was a nothing thing. So I knew in that moment, like that is not Tim's stuff. My husband's name is Tim. That is not his stuff. Like that is about me. Whatever he said or did, see, I don't even remember what it was but I remember the reaction I had and I excused myself and I went over into another room because here's the clue ladies. We have to allow our triggers to speak. This is how we start to clear them. We have to allow them to speak. Now this is some advanced work. And it took me a while to get here. And that's that's one of the reasons I do the work I do. Because I don't want the decades that it took me to get here where I'm at, at the age of almost 58, I want to speed up your, your path. I want to speed up for you to get to 
or I'm at or surpass me. That's my biggest goal is for my clients to surpass me. Like I want to start learning from them at their higher levels. But knowing that that trigger, like, and I even said inside of me, of course, I didn't say it out loud to him, but I said inside, okay, thank you for this. Because I'm in this rage, like what the? I'm in a rage, like inside of me, I can feel it. So I go in this other room and I'm taking some deep breaths into my heart. That's another clue. Deep breaths into your heart. Got to get out of the mind. Got to get out of the mind and breathe into the heart and allow the body to help facilitate this. Now, I also have a team. I call them my joy team. They're also called... Um, my entourage they're multi-dimensional beings that help right now they're just saying thank you for doing this and for bringing this to you because we all have an entourage we all have an entourage or a team or whatever you want to call that and it's different than spirit guides Spirit guides are people that have walked the earth. That's my understanding. And they could still have their own agenda in some way. But our entourage, they're beings from other places. They're multidimensional. Mine are not all human. I don't know if they've ever been. So they're multidimensional entourage. And I have other other collectives, other other um, groups. Hmm. Collectives maybe is a good word. I'm just trying to ask. I'm asking what what do you want to be called? But I have other helpers. Thank you for that. I have helpers beyond my own knowing. And I asked them to come forth and they helped me to facilitate. Because when I was in that, it's like, I knew I needed help to facilitate that. But I started to ask that rage. Like first it was anger. And then I kept digging deep and deep and deep and deep. And it was pure rage. And what I saw, because one of my gifts was also seeing, I can hear things. I can sense things. Um, I can see things. I could see things within me, and I saw this icky, sticky, tarry goo. That was the rage because it was stuck with me for millennials, millenniums. This was old, ancient, ancient, ancient rage. Now, I didn't know exactly what to do. This is also where we have to trust. When you have the intention, when you trust, when you have the intention to know that you want to clear this, that you want to heal it, that's truly all you need. I wish somebody would have told me that would have actually, that would have actually facilitated my path to learning a lot quicker because I thought I had to do all these mumbo jumbo different things, blah, 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 blah. No, we don't. Not in my experience. Accelerate my path. That's the word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Accelerate. I want to accelerate the healing process for everyone. I want, I, de I desire to help you to accelerate your 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 path into your awakening what is best for you for this higher free, higher essence of who you are to shine through you to be with you to infuse into you okay so so as i'm allowing this tar this icky sticky gooey tar to speak it was like a, it like it woke up. It was so grateful. Now I bawled. I cried so hard. 
And it was so grateful that finally it was acknowledged. Here's an because here's another point, women. If it doesn't look pretty, sometimes we think things are ugly. It's not. It's not. When we allow things to show itself to us, no matter what it looks like. And if it looks scary, just take that breath into your heart and look at it through your heart. And this is something we're going to be practicing in the Emerald Compass that we are launching May 20th, that Wednesday evening. It is going to rock the world of the women that are in it. It's an eight-month program. There'll be more information coming, but it's just actually, and the, the Emerald Compass itself is asking me to share this as we're talking about this. Because we've got to, it is vital, it's imperative that we clear away this, this, all of these things within us in order to create this, this new world that's coming forth and the new world we want to live in. I used to say heaven on earth, but it, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. So allowing those triggers to speak, allowing them to have that emotion, allowing yourself to have the emotion, allow the trigger to come up and speak and allow it to pour forth. And the rage, the rage I was feeling dissipated as I allowed the trigger to speak. And I kept speaking and I kept crying and I kept crying. There was so much emotion wrapped up in that. And then as soon as it was, um, when it felt like it was complete, whew, opened up this whole new area within me that was ready for my essence, more of my essence to come through and to be a part of Tammy so I could shine even brighter, so it could shine with me, so it could actually... Because this is like that connected voice to come through and, and help guide me. And help guide me. Because last year, ladies, in 2019, my business of what it was completely flatlined. Every time I, because I even had a class going on. And every time I, I wanted to go online and talk to have this class with these women that had signed up and had paid me, my voice would leave. I, it would get crackly or I'd get a really bad fever. And finally, finally we did get through the class. I offered them all an extra like one-on-one -on -one session with me as a thank you because they all worked with me through all that. There were times I had to multiply multiple times i had to i had to uh, um cancel and redo it reschedule that's what i'm trying to say reschedule it and they all worked with me they were so graceful and, and having that kind of community where you're all supporting each other that kind of sisterhood that's rare that's rare. And that's what I'm developing. So what gets in the way of us of us finding our triggers? Of 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 allowing the triggers to come forth so they can speak to us. So let me just, as you were thinking about that, let me just check in with the text chat and I, and take a drink. Do you all have some water with you or tea or something that you're drinking? There's a lot of energy coming through all this. Okay, so Kathleen, hi Kathleen, thank you for joining. 
I don't know what this pertains to because I was just in the in the flow of things, but she talks about hidden agendas. When I know what truth is, I know what others believe is their right. However, it is their right to believe what they want to believe. I, I agree with that. I also believe with the hidden agendas. And sometimes we don't even know that we have an agenda. Example. How many times? Now, really, think about this. How many times do you give a gift? Because you want to. Yet, you're pissed off because, not just you, Kathleen. I mean people in general. Women in general. But then you get pissed off or hurt, or disappointed, because they didn't say thank you. There's actually an agenda underneath that. Because agenda being recognized. If the gift was truly given from a pure place, from the purity of who, who you are, there is no need for a thank you. Can you see that? How many of you, yeah, take that in. Like, holy cow. I know people that get so pissed off. Well, they didn't say thank you. Well, then you didn't give the gift without, without an agenda. If it's pure, we don't need that. So Kathleen goes on to say, I know when it is not divine truth and wisdom. So Kathleen, I'm just going to ask you straight out, girl. Does this feel like this is divine truth and wisdom coming through? As I don't, um, you just let me know. And if you, whether you want to, and that's okay. You can type it here or you can send me a private message. It's okay. Love to have these kind of discussions. Ah, Stacy says, stubbornness of not recognizing that it is a trigger. Mm. How, I, how I'm sensing that, Stacy, is because if it's a trigger, that means we have to take responsibility for it and quit blaming the other person. Well, they're the jerk. Well, they're the ones that were this or that. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh, like, oh my gosh, if somebody would have told me this, you know, and I can feel that motion of that coming up. So see, just allow the emotion to facilitate through. Had I known this information when Tim and I were married young, I was 17, he was 21. Is that right? 17 and 4 is 21. We had a child right away within three months. How much more our marriage would have been? Enjoyable to know this about triggers, that that was my stuff. And me to not blame him and him not to blame me. That would have been such an awareness and an opening to deal with our own things instead of blaming each other or other people or me blaming my parents or whatever. Whatever that was. Wow, I did not know that emotion was there. But if we know about these triggers now, and we can and we can share these with the younger ones, or even the people our own age, to to help them to facilitate the talk, the allowing of the triggers to speak. Not everyone's gonna want to do this. I'll tell you that. But that's a way we can help each other. So, 
what gets in the way of triggers is emotion. Emotion. <laughs> Woo wee. Ah. So, uh, do we, if we know there's a trigger, do we, uh, do we roll with it? Do we go into it? Are we able to, if we're not able to take care of it in the moment, then remember it. And when you have that moment to be alone, because it never, you never know where you might be, right? When you can get triggered. But if it calls for you to speak your truth in that moment, know that you have permission to do that, even if it's scary. Even if it's scary. And even if the other person won't like it, you have the right. Yeah, they just keep coming. You have the right to uh, <laughs> to speak your truth. To allow those triggers to start speaking. So what else gets in the way of not allowing these triggers to be recognized? Besides not knowing that they're a gift, but also for the lack of the connection we have within us. That's why the inner healing work is imperative women, that we do that. So our awareness starts to grow and expand. So just take a deep breath on that. Take a deep breath and breathe into your heart. And allow that breath to expand, expand, expand. I think some of these tears are actually... Um, for those of that you that don't know, six years ago I left my husband. We worked it out. I even wrote an international best-selling book called The Second Start, because that's what we started creating. The Second Start, finding joy in the new you. And knowing, had I known, like I can feel this, had I known about triggers when I was younger, we probably could have had a happier marriage a happier relationship earlier and not had to, even though I'm grateful how things worked out over time. And that's why, that is why, again, why I do this work. <sighs> because I want to accelerate your path. So you don't have to go through the decades and decades and decades of the searching and the wondering. And like I can accelerate your path into that knowing. Oh, I gotta wipe my nose. Okay, it's gonna start gripping. Uh, 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 it's taking a long time to get to where I'm at. And there's been a lot of pain. And if I can help to not to enable but to help guide you through those different mm, corridors the different caverns through the different caves of our inner work and our inner knowing and to help be that for you with you walk beside you that's what i'm here to do and accelerate that path in doing so. So what are three of the things? Let's just go back over this. What are three of the things that we can do to help with us facilitating these triggers? 
So what did you guys hear? I want to know, ladies, what did you hear as we were talking? What did you hear as we're, we were talking about the different things that we can do to help facilitate of recognizing these triggers as a powerful force? Mm, I just heard, and forgiveness, a powerful force of forgiveness too. A powerful force of, they could be our friend. To, to embrace them when they happen. It's not easy. It's not always easy. I know that. It is not always easy. So Stacy says, allowing the emotions to come through and accepting them. Um, I would change the word accepting to acknowledgement because you're holding space for them, Stacy. To me, accepting them is like taking them in. Um, acknowledgement saying, hey, I see you. I'm with you. Like you say that to this trigger. I see you. I'm with you. What is it you want to say? They're right then and there. We are being witness to ourselves, to that stuck energy that's in us. Witness ourselves. Does this resonate? If you want to put some hearts and likes across the screen or write in the text chat, does this resonate? Being witness to that so it knows so it knows it's safe to speak its truth so it starts to clear out the emotional body and that way the emotional body is trusting you to be more within you and more with you as you walk with every step of life you're taking That's right, Carol. Take a step back if we need to. Take a step back. Reflect on it. Really understand. We're like, okay, I was triggered. Was that mine? Was that mine? What about that trigger? What about whatever the instance that that experience? What was it that is that mine? So you ask. Was that mine? Is that my trigger? Is that my energy? Oh, it is. Oh, wow. Holy cow, I didn't know it. And ask. This is very important. If you do not know how to help this trigger, because some things, the more we do this work, lady, the deeper we go. And there's things that been coming out that I've been reaching out for help. Because <laughs> you think you would. Yeah. It's like it's never <laughs> like male authority figure stuff. Like I've done so many, many layers of healing. And it came back up yesterday. Like what? Holy cow. But this, this went beyond, beyond, beyond. So, hmm. and then we ask the trigger, what is it you really want to say? And again, if for some reason you can't do this on your own, reach out for help. But you want to reach out, whether it's me or somebody else. But here's the thing. You want to reach out to, with, to someone that will speak truth with you. So I'm thinking of women when they're triggered by a significant other. And they go talk to their girlfriends that are not doing any work on themselves. But, you know, hey, they're my girlfriends and they support me. and 
and wow, 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 talking about this trigger and oh, he said this or she said that and I can't believe it. And then they join in with you on this instead of saying, whoa, Tammy, look at it this way. Did you think about it this way? You need you need the support system that will help you to dig, that will help you to clear, that will speak truth with you, no matter if you like it or not. That is a true friend. That is a true mentor or coach or whatever you want to call that. That they do not hide behind words or behind um, that they might piss you off. Some of you have worked with me personally that are right here on this. And you know, I don't mince words. We do not have time to mince words, women. We have got to do this and we've got to do this now. If you have any inclination to bring a better world, to live in a better world, like I mean you. Because that is not the outside, because we got to start right here with us. If we want to live a better world, we got to start. And, and there's no time to waste. And there's no time to dilly dally and not speak truth about it. That is exactly how I feel. And some of you can, that have been around me or want to chime in with, <laughs> go ahead. I'll be, they'll tell you like, oh, yeah, Tammy, don't miss words, man. We get in, we do the work, and it's like boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah. Sometimes our physical body has to catch up with all the high-frequency work we just did and the deep dives we just did. And it's like, whoo. Sometimes it's a whirlwind, and then we catch our breath, and then we keep moving on. I love doing this stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. So before we say goodbye for, the, for today, is there any thoughts, questions, comments that do you have anything else you want to chime in about? Is there something you want me to talk about next week? I, you know, let me know. <laughs> like Carol says, yeah, Tammy tells you how it is. <laughs> oh, it is so freeing. My son just walked in. He's over there. He tells you, oh, yeah, mama tells you like it is. <laughs> I still even remind my kids, what did you say this? Did you say that? Did you say thank you? Did you, mother, I know that. I'm like, well, your mama ain't never going to quit telling you so or reminding you so those of you before i go i want to let you know that um for those of you that don't know we are doing the nine day event called the sacred soul soiree it's live in the ignite your joyful heart facebook group today's wednesday so today is day three. You still have time to catch up with day one and two. Don't let that take you out from not joining with us. And um, just come on over to Ignite Your Joyful Heart Facebook group and join in. We're going to go live tonight at 7 o'clock. And tonight we're going to talk about sacred storytelling. We already talked about the sacred self and sacred play. And these are different ways that we are just expanding, 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 and growing and growing and growing, accelerating, accelerating to new heights. This is Tammy Lee with Make Shift Happen, the spiritual variety show. Thank you for joining. Ciao. Oh, yes. Thank you.